So we're leaving the county of Cornwall. We've had a fab uh, few days here catching up with friends and family. And uh, we are heading down now towards Weymouth. And uh, we're going to meet up with uh, one of our subscribers, Darren. So we're looking forward to meeting him this evening, well this afternoon and this evening, um, as we, we travel along the south of England towards um, Marianne's sister's Sue house, Sue's house in Hampshire. That's a bit of a tongue twister. I don't know why the sat nav Nearly there. <laughs> takes <laughs> us down roads like this. Marianne missed the turning. Missed the turning. And now it's taken us down a road that's the same size as Trudy and we're bound to meet a tractor. <laughs> Actually what's really funny is there was a little sign that said nearly there, which is even funnier. Oh hang on. Oh car park. Oh there must have been a wedding. Oh, there's yeah. a wedding or something. It's a very lovely. pretty view, but I'm sure that it would have been easier for the sat nav just to say turn around when possible because this road is very small. our first time driving along the south coast um, and we just can't believe how pretty the little villages are with the thatched roofs quintessentially English and really really well maintained and just looking absolutely beautiful yeah they're absolutely pristine they're like picture postcards yeah I'm amazed I've never ever done the south coast so we are at Portland Castle we have come down to the south coast and there is not a cloud in the sky at the moment. I can't believe it. We are so lucky with the weather. So we're going to go and have a look in Portland Castle. introduced this building as a castle I just found out from the audio guide that it's actually a gun fort um, and it was here to protect the harbour um, so we walked into the building and it's explaining that the walls are 12 foot thick to protect the building and that this is very much a working building that they use this um, to store food uh, the soldiers would rest here they would take it in turns to guard What's amazing is to think that there was four soldiers per cannon here and that each cannonball weighed up to 19 kilos in weight but they really are you could definitely weight train with these can you imagine how tired you'd be loading that up all day and firing it i found a really important room the toilet it would have emptied straight into the sea so the big, quite ugly, but very 
useful big blocks out there. Um, they're actually floating, there's two concrete floating blocks and before the entrance over there, what they would do is they would float them over, drag them over and block the port. So they're there um, from Second World War. At that time they used them to block the port. So any foreign vessels coming in would just assume that that's a solid brick wall. But they're hollow. Amazing. going up to see a 13th century ruin church up a little pathway let me show you this pathway Look at that, I have never seen that before. And also on the stones over here, you can see all the beautiful carvings. Look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. woken up on a very rainy day in Weymouth. Yesterday was glorious. We had a beautiful tour with Darren um, who showed us all around Portland and because we're going to my sister Sue's we've been a little bit slacking on, uh, on Trudy duties may I say it that way. Um, so fetching water has been forgotten by both of us. So um, what are you doing, Christopher? Have a look at this one. There's no water coming out of the tap because we've let it run down a bit, but there is still some water in the tank. So I'm fishing to fill the kettle up <laughs> because I want my morning coffee. Absolutely. And we're not near a water source. So let's see what you're doing. Yeah, because the water is below the water pump level. So that is our water tank just there under our bench seat. So Chris is fishing. I've got enough. Because uh... we've just invited Darren round for coffee. And then realised we haven't got any And then realised that we haven't got any water. Yeah. Yeah, the lid just screws on. That's how we normally fill it. We normally fill it with a hose pipe that we've got in the back um, or we've got a couple of bottles that live in the loo which are there um, and we just have them there so that if we need to we we just pop into because... petrol stations um, and get water oh and have a look at our little tip and because the um because the little cover's really flimsy and it broke because I always kneel on the sofa like this to get into this cupboard. So my knee went through it. It did. A while ago, actually. 
It did. So we just put a shelf on top and it works absolutely fine. Yeah, that's great. In fact, the shelf came from this cupboard because it was just super full. Um, and we decided that we didn't need the extra shelf in here because it would actually make it harder to get in and get things. And we actually just have a bucket now and it's got all our food bits and pieces in it. So it's easier just to pull out the whole bucket. It's the time to put the kettle on, Christopher. Good job. So we've woken up this morning at Darren's place and we can't leave because the tide's out. Uh, sorry, the tide's in. So until the tide goes out, we can't leave. So we just thought we'd come and have a look at <laughs> he's got this overlander vehicle that he's doing up and he wants to take us on a bit of a on a bit of an adventure around his land <laughs> he said you don't need a belt i'm putting my belt on what are you doing marianne's bracing herself <laughs> so marianne's gone off with darren and they're gonna go and have a little bit of a off-road experience. Um, because we're planning some mad adventures in the future, uh, we're doing a bit of research, so we thought we'd tap Darren's brain. And he's got a pet pig. Look. Aren't you beautiful? We're staying on Darren's land, and it's beautiful. The uh, the tide's in, because you've got to drive up over the beach to get here. And uh, they're driving round the field, and we're just gonna go and find where they are. And it was so nice this morning, we woke up and there was a family of deer playing in the field. Um, Absolutely beautiful. How often do you stay somewhere where you can see badgers last night, foxes? Because um, Darren put some food out for them, so we stayed up till midnight looking for them. And they came up to the van. And uh, um, absolutely amazing to see nature up so close. Spring watch, eat your heart out. And then this morning, not only were we treated to the, watching the beautiful deer, um, play in the field next to the van where we're parked. We also got Arabella the goat came into the van and now I've just seen the Vietnamese pot-bellied pig. It's been an absolutely fab morning and Darren's been so kind taking us out and about yesterday showing us his local area. So I think Marianne's gonna have a go um, and drive. She is, she's just got into the driver's seat. So she's coming off-road up the hill this could be interesting her first overland experience believe how easily that lorry just drove up that hill we definitely need to get ourselves something that uh, can do a similar kind of thing but on a smaller scale I think Arabella's come to see what's going on what's daddy doing what's daddy doing Arabella, come on in good girl come on in Good girl. Let's go see what they're doing. It's amazing. He's got a tame goat. That was my first overland experience. It was so much fun. Um, such a, such an, a diff different experience. I wasn't sure it was going to be like a, just a big car, but it's so powerful and you feel as though you're able to do anything. So Chris has got a boy toy.
We're just going to hang out, us girls, aren't we, while the boys are going out having fun. Two men and a goat having fun. Was that fun, love? Did That's you right enjoy that? that corner, because you can't, you can't, it's, it's not like a motorbike. Is it like it's a Robin like a Reliant? It's yeah. not like a motorbike, I went straight into the bushes. <laughs> Marianne felt something in her shirt and it was a cricket. She's got Jiminy Cricket. Hold on, you have to open it out the window. I'm going to. It was jumping around the van. Rebella's come to say goodbye. I think she's coming in the van. Are she's come to say goodbye. Oh, you're coming in the van. Do you want to come with us? The tide is out. So we're on our way to Marianne's sister Sue's house. Shine. 